Joining the show tonight, a man who has graced us with his presence before. He can sling the rock. He's done it at a very high level. But today, here to talk more, talk about more than just football. It's Carter St. John. What's up, dude? Absolutely. How are you doing? Thanks for having me on again. Hey, glad to get you back on here whenever I can find an excuse to do so. Today just happened to be a really easy reason to get you on here because you've got such an awesome thing going on. And I guess before I just babble on about it, you tell me about QBs versus cancer and everything you got going on over there. Okay, so the idea is QB versus cancer is I, I tried to reach out to, I believe it's 242 Division three teams. Wow. I tried to reach out to all of their 242 quarterbacks, starting quarterbacks for each team. Um, and it was kind of hard just because uh, through Instagram, Instagram and Twitter, you have to be following me back. Otherwise, it goes to the little um, request box. And mm-hmm. so a lot of the guys um, still be, were able to see it. And so the idea is um, Division three quarterbacks, um, hosts kind of a training session, however many training sessions they want um, for high school kids, middle school kids, whatever age they want to work with for 25 bucks a session. Um, and those kids will come to their school or I found it a lot easier to have these quarterbacks do it over the summer um, yeah. just because they're busy now with spring ball and school and working jobs and stuff like that. So I think probably about 90% of the guys are doing it over the summer. But And then all the money they raise from those sessions and all, also donations around the community um, go to the cancer charity of their choice. Um, and so I think the idea I, and my idea in my mind was to have them pick a, uh, cancer, uh, society that's, um, near to their school. Um, just so it's more, um, local and those people near them kind of feel those benefits more. But again, we're trying to raise money for cancer. So it doesn't matter where you're sending the money, as long as you're sending money to help the cause. And that's kind of what I got out of it too, was like, this is something you can make it as personal as you want to make it, right? You've got someone in your close uh, friends or family or community that's affected by one of the many forms of cancer out there. Then this is your opportunity to get out and to really feel like you're making that difference and kind of do something. Because I know that's something that's very difficult. Um, and as someone who my mom just had surgery to remove uh, a carcinoma, a certain kind of breast camera, cancer last week, excuse me. And that's something that it's very odd when she gives me that news and I'm sitting there and I'm sure so many people have been in these shoes before me. And it's like, you feel helpless and there's not really much that you can do. So this is in my opinion, just a great way for these guys to take something they're already doing and one to raise money towards a a fantastic cause, but two to give back to other people and to pass on their skill sets in a game that has brought joy to, to so many people. So Bravo to you, dude. This is like, this is awesome. I think it's it's such a pure idea, but you and I got chatting before this about even when you have an idea like this, there are so many little pieces and things fundamentally that you have to set up. This is not something that you thought about maybe over the weekend or over spring break. This has been sitting in the back of your mind for a while, right? Yeah, so I really kind of thought about it um, over the offseason, really uh, kind of as soon as we lost in the playoffs, but um, it's just something I think uh, – Thankfully, in the Mount Union win, a lot of people kind of realized um, where Alma is and kind of looked more into it. And I kind of want to use that, use that platform of like maybe people will know who I am. And so if I reach out to more people, yeah. they'll be more enticed to kind of come along with me and try to help out a lot. And again, I can't say it enough that all the guys that are helping out, I believe I counted 29, maybe 30, in, uh, including myself. I'm not a great at counting, but um, <laughs> I think that's what I had so far. Um, and so I wouldn't be able to do it without, um, all of those guys. Yeah. And it's awesome. I've got it up here, your website, you display, uh, each and every quarterback right now that is currently signed up and available to, uh, give some of these sessions, but man, you've got a good number going on right now. What was the initial feedback? Like, what have the responses been like from the guys who I would assume have been all about this movement and and really excited to be a part of it? Yeah. Um, initially I started just talking to the MIAA guys. Um, just to kind of feel out what they thought. And a lot of it was just, hey, I'd love to do this. Please get me involved and, you know, let me know about the next step. Um, Everyone's been super positive about it. Even guys that say no, it's just, you know, they're too busy. They can't, they can't take time out of their day to, um, um, that sounds bad, but they're, they can't, um, they're just way too busy with everything. I get it. No, I get it. It is a lot uh, of time to take up, but um, I really appreciate everyone that, like, even if you say no, I, really appreciate your support and stuff like that so absolutely dude no that's that's really neat stuff and so now talk about 
a little more about the timeline kind of deal. So you had said earlier that a lot of these guys, the summer will kind of be the target area where um, it's high school and kind of middle school quarterbacks, athletes, right? Kind of that, that range is what you're looking at to, to bring in for these kind of training sessions. Yeah. So the initial idea I had in my mind was everyone's at school. Now they have a feel that they could probably try to utilize. Yep. I didn't even think about spring breaks and stuff like that um, for all the high school kids. But um, so what I did is I made a flyer, and I sent it out to um, a bunch of the high school coaches in the era or coach couch sent it out for me just because recruiting and stuff, he knows them. Got good connections um, for sure. And so I suggested that to a lot of guys. I think a lot of them did that, but yeah, just people are so busy now with school jobs um, and spring ball now starting up so that um, it's a lot easier for guys to go home, maybe use their high school field um, and be able to do these training sessions. It, it really doesn't matter whenever they can get the training sessions in I'll, all that matters is they're doing it. Yeah, 100%. And that's something that I saw, too, reading on the website is you've got a minimum um, for each of these guys to make sure that they're staying involved and continuing with this. This uh, certainly isn't something where you just want to put it out there and get a bunch of maybe pats on the back and rounds of applause, and then it fades off into the sunset, right? This is something you want to have some carryover and continue to to generate some, some great experiences um, for all these guys. Is this something that, um, too, I guess – if I can ask, is there a personal tie-in for you to this issue that uh, makes it something you're very passionate about? Yeah, so it all began, uh, Alma played Kalamazoo in a cancer game, which I've never done before. I guess um, Coach Couch, I think, did it a ton at Romeo when he was the uh, coach there. And uh, so what Alma did was we started, um, we donated all the money that we raised because we got new jerseys that we were able to have on the back of them, the name of someone we wanted to play for that had cancer. That's awesome. Um, and so I played for my good friend, uh, Todd Kelsey that uh, had cancer in high school. He's one of my best friends in high school. Uh, thankfully, he actually beat it. And there you go. Is at a boy. Um, but also, so that came from that. But also, just seeing how much, uh, how many people cancer is obviously impacted was uh, just kind of terrible. Just to see about how guys on the team could pick from four to five people they were having to play for. Um, and along yeah. with that, I yeah. also my grandpa passed away from cancer um, last year. Um, and then one of my old basketball coaches, Steve Ernst, who uh, actually went to Alma, played basketball there. Uh, is still battling right now. He's putting up a hell of a fight right now. So uh, those were the main three people um, that I, I really wanted to start this for. And um, just obviously the, the cancer game kind of sparked it. And also kind of on a more positive side, I know that's kind of hard to talk it's about. It's real, though. It's real. Yeah, absolutely. But um, just as Division three athletes, kind of like what you're doing. I'm trying to gather uh, people that may not be the division one level. Um, they're kind of a brotherhood between the division three level and also just quarterbacks in general. I wanted to get us all together, um, do something good for the, these high school and middle school kids um, and raise money for a good cause. hundred percent. I had the chance to be a part of a few of those games in high school. Um, that was something that uh, we did it with multiple teams. It was typically against our rival Clarkson. And that was like just a great example of, I don't have any friends at Clarkson. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like nothing, but you come and you play that kind of game. And it's like everyone who shares that experience being a part of a game like that. And like you said, when you have a guy on the team, multiple people on the team that they have to go home and pick, you know, I've got X amount of people affected in my life by some type of cancer. And they have to actually go make a decision on whose name they have to wear on their back. When it came to that game, what was really special is you had guys that say, one person was very fortunate and didn't have anyone that in their immediate like friends or family group, whatever that was affected, they'd wear the name of somebody else that, you know, they've got two names. They can't put on one Jersey. It was just so many great things go into that. And after the game, meeting up with those people, the ones that thankfully are still around and are either still battling or have won uh, some of their fights, like that stuff, that stuff sticks with you for a long time, dude. Is this something that, um, are you going to limit to D3 quarterbacks? Can we see this expanding to other positions in the future? Or are we just working on the launch right now, which would be totally respectable and just that? Uh, well, so the main focus is really on the launch. I've had ideas about if someone contacted me from other divisions. Um, honestly, it's kind of a lot on my plate. So I would encourage them to try to do something similar. Yeah. Um, just because there's a lot of stuff that goes into the day to the day. I have to remind myself constantly. I'm a student athlete. I have to worry about school and then football. Oh, yeah. And then project um together but uh and then also with the other positions um a guy at platteville receiver brant uh stare i hope i'm saying that right um actually contacted me and uh, i think him and nathan shackelford um from platteville are going to work together on 
um, combining uh, receivers and quarterbacks. Um, I think the idea was um, a quarterback can bring a receiver for free um, if he pays the $25. And then if a receiver around the area doesn't have a quarterback, he will then uh, have to pay just um, $5. Or, sorry, I messed that up. If a quarterback brings a receiver, yes, $5. There and you go. If, yeah, so receivers only have to pay five bucks. Yeah, and that makes that makes a lot of sense, right? Because what good is uh, at least I'm not a QB, but what good is a quarterback training session with nobody to throw to? You know what I mean? So that that goes hand in hand, and um, that that kind of environment you're making also you're positively affecting more people, getting more people into the fold. That's a that's a great idea, dude. I love it.